Hey guys, once again it's Rachel from The Little Green Lamb, and I told you in my last video if you watch it, this is my second book review of the day, and this is on the book I read right after Suzanne Colasante is taking me there, and it's me and Earl and the Dying Girl by Jesse Andrews. I really loved this book. It was so good. Um, basically to sum it up, it's like in the inside flap. Well, sorry guys, my camera's kind of off. Okay, and so am I. <laughs> So basically it's about a guy, his name's Greg Gaines, and he loves writing plays, not plays, but he likes writing screenplays um, for like, he's an aspiring filmmaker, and he works alongside with his best friend Earl, who has anger issues, as you can see on the cover he's kicking a letter, and recently a uh, old friend um, has contracted cancer, um, her name's Rachel, and they sort of start hanging out with her because his mom kind of makes him be obligated to. But along the way, um, good things happen. So I hope that didn't spoil too much. I don't think it did at all, but just make sure. Um, if you guys have not ever watched any of my reviews, I, care, like, I judge my books in four categories. Plot, characters, cover, suspense, and overall. In terms of reading, give me 5 out of 5 and 1 out of 5. Not reading yet. If I'm looking over, I'm looking at my agenda where I keep all my scores for all five categories displayed. So to start off, plot, I gave a four out of five. I really love the plot, but sometimes you really can't take a comedy book. But the only thing I didn't like about the plot is I didn't really like the ending with Earl and Greg. If you've read this book, you'll know, you might know, I didn't like the paths they chose. Like at the end when, like, I'm not going to say it. <sighs> but everything else was hilarious. There's one part in the front thing with this girl, Olivia, or no, or Ryan, Olivia Ryan, yeah, Olivia Ryan, um, and something happens in the stairwell, and it made me almost fall off my chair in the living room when I was reading it. It, I, it was just unexpected. So the characters, I give a five to five, loved all the characters, it was amazing, and I don't have any complaints with the characters, they're all hilarious, and they kept me laughing. I was in school reading this, and I had to stop because I was going to like burst in class, and it was really quiet. Because, like, it was quiet work and I was finished. Yeah. Cover, I give a 5 to 5. I absolutely love the cover. Um, I love how, like, Earl's, like, up there and he's, like, flying in the clouds because he's, like, a dreamer. And, like, he has some anger issues. And she's just lying there thinking. Like, I really love the cover. And the spine, even. I like all this. And the really cool thing is um, how they put it up here. Like, on the front. Ooh. Sorry, I like how like the, some of the letters in are it, italics and stuff. It really like, makes the cover look cool, and I really like the green and black together. I don't know why. It's just very nice. On um, suspense, I gave it a five out of five. I loved the suspense in this book. I couldn't stop reading it. It was making me giggle so much, and it was like really good paced. And I loved how it was broken up. Um, there's sometimes he wrote in scripts. Sometimes like he had lists of it, lists like going down like mom did this blah 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 yeah and overall I give this a five out of five after I read this I really wanted to read this again but I have so many new books and I just want to start reading them because they all look so good so that was my review on me and Earl and the Dying Girl by Jesse Andrews um I hope you guys enjoyed that you guys should definitely pick it up if you love funny books because it's definitely or light read like it's definitely funny it has some crude humor in it like I wouldn't suggest it for younger kids but I kind of compared it I know they have the same name, Greg. I kind of compared it. Like, it'd be like an older Diary of the Wimpy Kid. I read the first four Diary of the Wimpy Kid books because my sister owns them. And Greg kind of reminds me of Greg from Diary of the Wimpy Kid. But just a little bit more grown-up Greg. And he has different aspirations, obviously, because they're whole different characters. Um, if you guys want to know what I'm currently reading, um, it'll be in my next book review, which will be just uploaded right after this. And once again, thank you to all my subscribers and everyone who watched my videos. I appreciate you guys all. Any book recommendations? Have you read this book? Um, I'd like to hear all your opinions. Comment below and I'll definitely respond back. Okay, bye guys.